So I was obsessed with its predecessor, the Republic Number no. 2 deck. And uh, so much so I even have the Ten of Spades tattooed on my arm. And uh, I wanted to have a deck that was an homage to that, but still had its own sense of style. And uh, so after a good long while, uh, this is what was created, the Royal Reserve. And uh, it's got a lot of fun stuff tied into it. The stock is a little bit different, it's better in my opinion, but it has a lot of the same design elements, uh, the faces and the back design. Um, I've added a border around the ends, uh, so it's great for in the hands work or at the table. Uh, so it's a great sort of crossover deck, but it also makes it a lot more accessible than the original deck was. Can you do the anti-faro, your anti-faro with that deck? Mine? Yeah, you absolutely can. You can anti fire that deck? Yes. Can you show us? Yeah. The crush stock also makes it very soft, but the way that United States Playing Card Company does their crush stock, it doesn't mean thin, it just means stronger but with less width, right? Uh, so it means that they retain their form a lot better than some of the thinner decks from other companies. You, you could use any deck that you want, that's, that's, that's true, but the reason that you use cards like this is because they, they help you express sort of what, what it is that's your style. You know, Royal Reserves, it's, like I said, it's designed to feel luxurious, so when you're using them, I don't know, for me it makes me sort of step up my game a little bit. I, I want to be a better card mechanic using, you know, the, the cards are just the tools, but these ones, because of the cut, because of the design work that went into it, um, it really makes you want to step up your game. And it gives you access, because of the way that we went into making these, it gives you access toward doing a lot more advanced stuff. Stuff that it's a lot harder to do with things like a Costco deck because the cut is rough and the cards won't last. So this is the luxury edition. Um, this is the one that was produced in the greatest quantity, but uh, Illusionist was also kind enough to help me create a private reserve edition. I'm Jeremy Griffith, and these are the Royal Reserve. I'm Jeremy Griffith, and these are the Royal Reserve. Can you, can you grab those? <laughs>